What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel today. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to do uh, something because when I was looking around at uh, these paint guns, if you saw the last video, you know we painted uh, a friend of ours, Mel's uh, Z, we painted it like a royal purple. It almost looks like, like crown royal purple. Um, but when I was kind of shopping around for paint guns, I wanted something that was going to work well with the compressor that I have which is a smaller compressor obviously I don't have this big big uh, area to work out of so it's a 20 gallon uh, compressor uh, it will do I think it's six about six and a half CFM at 40 psi so I needed a gun that was gonna work in that range and uh, I found one it's made by Eastwood uh, I kind of showed it briefly in the um, the paint video but I kind of wanted to go a little bit more in depth kind of my thoughts on it well I guess a little uh, review if so to speak so um, but here it is this is the uh, the gun itself um, it's the concourse LT100 um, and it looks just like any other paint gun that you would have uh, or have seen before but uh, it's specifically designed to work with uh, lower CFM compressors um, and you know it worked well so if you're looking for something that's going to be good for like a at home job you know or you're doing small jobs but obviously i mean we did a full car with it uh, and it worked fine the compressor it ran but it never felt like the um the pressure was inconsistent like i had a good spray pattern the entire time uh even with that smaller compressor which is like i said it's, i think it's a 20 gallon yeah, but that's that's the compressor right there. Um, you can see my garage is still has a purple sheen on everything. But anyway, the gun did great. I mean, you can see here it looks just like anything else. I will say, you know, get yourself a decent uh, you know push to lock regulator. Um, you can see we made a big mess pouring uh, paint, but uh, the gun works great. I mean, it comes with instructions, tells you exactly how to clean it, how to get it set up. Um, but it's got your, you know, just like your settings, just like any other gun, you know, air in, uh, you got your, uh, is it the fan? This is fluid, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is your, uh, fluid adjustment. And this is your fan up here. Uh, you set it up pretty much just like any other gun. You, um, you know, just want as even spray pattern as you can get. Um, but I will say that it did a, it did a great job. It's uh, easy to use. I mean, it, you, I, I think it took me, not counting having a crummy regulator on there at first. I, I mean, it may have taken me 15 minutes to get it set up and like going. Um, so if it's a, if this is like your first foray into, uh, you know, spraying, it's probably a good gun. Um, I got it straight through Eastwood. I got, it comes with a 1.3 tip, which is probably all you'll ever need. I bought an extra 1.5 tip just in case I have some uh, paint down the line that you know needs the uh, the different tip size. But I used a 1.3 tip on the sealer we used in the last video. So the sealer, I used it for the base and the clear. It 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 did fine, uh, no issues. So I mean, if you're looking for something that's budget friendly, this is probably your go-to. It's not. You know, obviously it's not as cheap as like, you know, Harbor Freight or something like that. Um, but so for for somebody looking to maybe just be getting into this type of uh, thing, you know, at home, paint, body work, whatever, um, I do recommend this uh, gun. It's, uh, I think it was a hundred bucks. So it was a hundred bucks for the gun and then I paid another, I don't know, uh, it was like 15 bucks for the other... Uh, fluid tip so it was like 115 bucks plus shipping I think total all together I think it was like 126 bucks or something like that for this gun uh, and it did great the only complaint I have about it is that the trigger pull is pretty stiff um, but you can still modulate it uh, you got a little bit of slack up front I think that's how most of these guns are gonna be uh, that was really my only complaint but when I got used to it and started using it I didn't really notice it anymore so it's, but it is smooth. It's not notchy or anything like that. You know, you got good pull all the way to the back. It's, it's fine. Uh, like I said, once I was painting, I didn't really notice the heavy uh, trigger pull. 
Um, but the, the paint came out great. I mean, there's some inconsistencies in it, but that's not, it wasn't the gun. That was totally on me. Uh, because like I said, you know, I'm, I'm not a pro, but if you are looking to get into, uh, you know, you got a fender to fix, or even if you want to spray a whole car, this gun, uh, for at home use with a small compressor, you really can't beat it. It is, uh, it's, you know, so far been a good investment. Um, are there probably better guns out there? Yes. You're going to pay a little bit more for them, but you know, I thought is, you know, for how often I'm going to use this, you know, a couple times a year, uh, and with the, the compressor I had, it was probably, you know, it was the no brainer choice to kind of go with it. So, um, 10 out of 10 would recommend it did a, a great job. It cleans up easy. Uh, there's no, there's really nothing to it. You know, if you've, even if you've never owned a paint gun before, you, you know, it just comes with great instructions. It tells you how to break it down, how to clean it, how to go through everything. I mean, it's just easy. Um, but like I said, buy yourself a good, I have a, I bought a, a snap to lock, a regulator for it. Uh, you know, you pull it out, adjust your, push it in. Uh, I would recommend getting a decent regulator. I tried it with a cheap one first. Uh, it doesn't work out really well. It's, um, the gun doesn't like it. And it's probably just the regulators. Most of those cheaper regulators are more like on off uh, switches and they're not really, you know, you can't really dial in the pressure so much. Whereas this, you know, I could get it perfect, but let the compressor run, you know, wide open and regulate it at the gun. So, um, because that's, and that's the way I've always run my paint guns. But anyway, uh, so a good regulator. Um, I used um, quarter inch fittings, but I hear that you can get a little bit better spray if you use like three eighths fittings. Uh, Cause they're obviously the, the opening is bigger. You get more airflow through, but <clears throat> this gun's also designed to run off of less CFM. So in my head, I was like, well, if it's designed to run off less CFM, the quarters should be fine and it it worked fine you know um i'll throw some stills and some uh video of the paint actually getting laid on and and all that stuff just so you guys can kind of see it in action but the the gun performed flawlessly um it did everything i asked for it uh, of it um uh, can't say anything better so eastwood concourse lt100 uh super beginner gun uh, probably good for anybody, even if you're not a beginner, but if you're in a situation where you don't have a big compressor um, or a lot of airflow, that's a gun for you. So I would recommend it. Uh, I thought it was a good investment, and um, that's basically it. I don't, you know, if you guys have any questions about it that I can answer for you, um, you know, leave them in the comment section below. If, uh, if you've used it and had different experience, let me know. I'd like to hear about it. Um, but... Yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Short, quick, down and dirty. Um, just a, a review video. But uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more content, maybe not just reviews, but, you know, we do all kind of projects around here, uh, consider subscribing. And as always, I appreciate you guys coming out and watching the video. Peace.